It's Billionaire Boxing, and I'm back with another one. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe and share, you know, this content. But, yeah, I'm, I just checked out Jamel Charlo's uh, live workout, his open workout. And I'm going to be honest, he looked pretty sharp, and he looked a lot. He looked very comfortable, but he also was disguising a lot of his game plan. The only time I saw him do anything that would show a little bit of the game plan was when he was on the move, hitting the shield. You know what I mean? He was hitting the shield. And then he uh, he did it for about four or five shots. He threw a hook. He was throwing a lot of check hooks. He threw a, a jab on the move, a straight right on the move, and he threw two check hooks. And then he said, you know what, I'm not going to show too much. But I feel like that's more the game plan than anything we saw today. Because I, I, I know this was just a workout just to show. He was sitting down on his shots on a lot of those. You know, we know he's a, a good, a great puncher. We know he likes to sit down on his punches. But I don't think that's the game plan. I think they're playing... Um, I think, well, Jamel is, is playing possum. I think he's uh, not allowing his game plan to be shown, and that's a smart idea. He said, I can't show you everything while you're recording me. But he looked fast. He looked quick. He looked explosive. He looks healthy. He don't look like he's cutting weight. You know what I mean? So that that's a good thing because he looks like he has a lot of energy. Uh, you know, his mood is definitely, definitely a lot more um, vibrant. Like, Jamel Charlo looks happy. You know, he's hungry, but he looks happy. He looks happy at this opportunity. Uh, the bag work, we know he sits down. He's punching hard. Uh, they didn't even do another thing I saw that was glaring. It, it was no mitt work with Derrick James. So they're not trying to show anything because Derrick James didn't do any mitt work with Jamel. So when you look at that and I start seeing how, uh, and it was very short too. It was short, sweet, and to the point. Jamel Charlo wasn't trying to show his hand at all. And he said something in this. He said something after that 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 took me for a loop. When he said, "I'm not going to Vegas until I have to. I'm making y'all come here. You know what I mean? Like I'm not. He made uh, Showtime and him come here. He's not making it. Uh, he's not going to Vegas until fight week. He said, "I got everything I need here." He said, "All these other people, man. They and I and I felt like you know I felt like he was mentioning not disrespecting or not taking a shot at Spence, but he was saying how Spence went out there three to four weeks early for his fight." He didn't necessarily agree with that. He's saying, I'm staying here. You know, I'm being, I'm staying where I'm comfortable at, where I recover at. I'm not getting out of my comfort zone for my biggest fight. So it, it, Jamel just seems to be at peace. And, I, man, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. The more and more I see, I know this is the only uh, workout I've seen of him, you know. But the the more and more I see, the, the, the better I think the fight is going to be. And his power looks like it's going to carry the 68. Um, so, yeah, man, we should be in for a great fight. He still looks quick. His, his footwork still looks good, you know, when he was moving laterally. So, yeah, uh, can't wait. September 30th, make sure y'all, you know, make sure y'all either, either buy it or, or go to the fight. As your billionaire boxing, I'm back with another one.